Hi, and welcome back. It's been a, a while, and I just wanted to stop because I haven't stopped crafting. I haven't made a crafting video in a while. I've been spending a lot of time uh, doing my cross stitch, which you can see my floss tube videos here on YouTube under my other channel name, which is Kelly Bell Stitches. But today I wanted to come back because I've been... I've still been ordering things from Heartfelt Creations, and I've got something else I want to show you, too, that I got. And I've been pretty excited. But Heartfelt Creations just finished a sale on some limited merchandise items that I just got. By the way, I love this Frolicking Frosty, the Snow Kiss collection. I did get the whole thing, and I really like it. But I'll go into that later. So... Let me open the box. I did open the box, but I haven't looked at anything yet. Let me move the packing paper. Look at all that good stuff in there. Okay. Let me take everything out of the box. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Don't forget that. Here's my packing slip. And I'll put the box over there out of the way. So. They had a sale of some of their stuff that they're discontinuing, I think. And let me see, let me get my packing list out so I can tell you what I've got. Well, these things aren't just, this isn't discontinued. These are the glue tip pins because they have um, galvanized steel pins so that they don't rust in the glue bottle. And I've managed to lose the pin, so when I saw this, I thought it would be a good thing to have. And it says that there are six stainless steel pins. And they're in a, a handy-dandy little container, so maybe I won't lose them this time. And then I also got one of these Tombow acid-free dual-tip shaders. It's got a blunt, a blunt tip. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's very overcast, and I've got kind of a lot of lights on here trying to kill shadows. Ooh, that's on there good. And then it has a broader tip um, for a brush. And I really like these. I have a couple. I just thought I would get another one. And then I got, this is one of the things that they're discontinuing. It's the decorative flower pot. And if you turn it over and look at the back, it shows you all the pieces. And I've seen some really cute things done with this. And I like that it has these two different size tags. And it has the greenery that it comes with. I thought that would come in pretty handy. And then I also bought this luggage and tags set. I think I do have the stamp. Maybe. Not sure. But um, I like this because it comes with the tickets, the stamps, and like a label as well as the luggage cut, and then another tag. And You know, you can never have too many tags. And then I, I know I've done some videos where I showed myself using these stamps, like for my journal that I made and things, but I didn't buy the dies at the time, and I cut them all out by hand. And I really like the stamps. I think they're beautiful. I love to color them. I'm going to love cutting them out even more now because... That was a lot of cutout work. So, and these aren't discontinued. They're, they're still stocking these. And this is a beautiful set, if anyone's interested. And then I also bought, this is not, this is also not discontinued. I have the Cut Mat Create 1A, and I just bought the 2A. And there's another set. There's a 1B and a 2B. Um, that I haven't gotten yet, but these come in handy because they'll actually cut mats and they come with some additional little pieces for detail. So I really like that. So that was my Heartfelt Creations order and uh, that came fast. Heartfelt Creations always comes fast and you have to realize this is from one side of the USA to the other because they're out in Utah and I'm here in New York. So that's quite a trip. So I showed you my little snowman stamp. So what I've been doing is I've started making card fronts for Christmas cards. 
Now I haven't colored them yet, but I have been stamping. And um, so I have quite a few done, at least stamped. And if you notice, they're all pretty, pretty, um, well, not to pat myself on the back, because it's not me, but you can see they're all stamped pretty clearly, and they all are pretty much in the same location on the page. So all I did was take shimmer cardstock and cut it into quarters. It was an eight and a half by 11 inch piece, so it was four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then I used this new, new tool. It's not new, but it's new to me. I've been watching um, <clears throat> Penny Black and Jill Foster. Jill Foster, when she does Penny Black's, um, uses her stamps on cards and, and watercoloring. She uses this Misty stamper. And I have to tell you, I've been holding off because this thing was pretty pricey. I mean, I've seen it for $117 on Amazon. So I Googled it and I came up with, um, let's see, this is an eBay seller and it's called Marcy's Stop and Shop. And this thing came in one day, one day. And I'm not even sure where she's located. Let me see. Anaheim Anthem, Anthem, Arizona. So from Anthem, Arizona. And this is her card. Let's make sure I'm not giving away any of my information. Nope. She sent a whole thing. But this is her information. It's Marcy's Stop and Shop. And she's an eBay seller. And I can't give her high enough um, kudos. I mean... It is amazing. And uh, this um, Misty stamp pad, guide, whatever you want to call it, is phenomenal. Because all you do is you put your, let me take one of my card fronts. You take your card front that you want to stamp, you put it in your Misty, and you put these magnets on it because it's a magnetized base so it doesn't move and then you take your I'm going to get one of my stamps out so you take your stamp that you want to stamp and I'll use the same stamp so I've got my same little snowman stamp and I position him where I might want to stamp him And then I close the Misty, and this, this picks it up on its acrylic cover. And then when you lay it down, you stamp it, or you ink your, well, you, obviously you ink your stamp up. And to do my snowman, I used London Fog, because it gives a nice light stamp that you can pretty much you know, doesn't look too stamped. It kind of gives it a more artistic, and excuse my dogs, they're barking. Um, you know, when you color into the gray, it doesn't stand out quite as boldly against the color as the black would. And it kind of gives it more of a watercolory effect. But anyway, so you stamp your stamp, you stamp it on your Misty, you open it up. If you want it stamped a little bit, like a little bit misses or whatever, you ink up your stamp again, and you close it down, and you don't get any double lines. It all stamps back down in the exact same spot. And I struggle with that. I don't know about anybody else, but even with a stamp positioner, I struggle. So I really love this Misty. I think it's one of the best stamping tools I've ever, ever bought. And I can't say enough good about Heartfelt Creations because I love them too. But I wanted to come on and show you these uh, cool tools and new buys and say that I'll probably be back soon with, some, with at least one crafting video because I might come back and put a couple of Christmas cards together. 
But until then, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, lovely comments. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers, new and old. I, I do this because I love it. I love crafting. I love having the community to share it with. I love watching your videos. I leave comments. I mean, there's just not enough hours in the day to see and do everything that I want to do. That's my biggest problem. And I'm doing a lot of cross stitching now. So if you're at all interested in needle arts, there is the Floss Tube community on YouTube where we share, show, and discuss our cross stitching enthousiasm. enthusiasm. Um, so I welcome you there too. It's Kelly Bell Stitches. And this is my Kelly Bell channel, which is general crafting. And on my for my cross stitch, I also have made some um, we call them stick pins here in the crafting community, but in cross stitch, they're stitch counters where you actually can use a needle to count the threads in your fabric and mark where your stitches lie. So I made some. Let's see, turn this over. I made some pumpkins and some wizard hats. And Halloween has just passed, so I don't want to forget my ghosts. And here is my witch's hat. I have a whole bunch. I'm only showing you a few of them. And this is a Frankenstein's monster. So I have been having fun. Um, and I hope that you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. Have a very, very colorful day. Thanks.